Hey guys, uh, back on another pro cooking. Finally got all my nachos eaten up Wednesday. Took me about three days to finish those off. So now I'm going to be making some chicken, fried chicken, and it's going to be bacon wrapped. That's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to pop some grease on this skillet because we're going to be almost like deep frying them, but in a pan. And I'm going to pretty much coat the bottom of there. A lot of grease in this. Yeah. Not enough where they float in it, but enough to where it really deep fries them. That should be good. Got our flour here. Don't have a sifter, so just straight out of the bag. Using careful, precise measurements, I'm going to put some milk in it. Make a little, uh, you know, what would you call this, a breading mix or something? Pretty much the same consistency as if you were to make pancakes, but really light crepes. <laughs> Only instead of making it sweet like pancakes, we're going to pop some salt. Like that. Black pepper, and there, if you have a grinder, go ahead and crackle your pepper in like that. That will really be pro. It's just going to be semi pro. Is that going to be enough for four pieces of chicken? I don't know, I kind of doubt it. Looks like gravy. more if it comes to it. really want this to heat up good before I throw them in there. So I'm going to be using thigh meat because you know me, I like my, my meat juicy. I'm not really a breast man. Not that I don't like breasts, but I like breasts in all shapes and sizes. Not really particular. Any breast is a good breast to me. Let's go ahead and Take a bacon out of this. I'm going to be wrapping this around the chicken as it uh, gets breaded. It's going to stick to it. We're going to kind of cook the bacon as it cooks the chicken. I'm not sure how this is going to work out because I've never done it before. But it seems like with the bacon grease, you wouldn't need all this other grease. So I don't know how it's going to work out. Of course, my bacon is shorter because I cut it the other day when I made my nachos. You can't really scratch your ears with all this grease on your hands. I really like this to be almost bubbling. Let's mix up some more flour. I think we're going to need a little bit more. Alright, I think we're about ready to start. Oh, we can really feel that heat. And this, yep, just about right. Can we cook all four at once? I think we can. Let's see, we'll take this small one, dip them in our goo. Yep. Gotta get a lot of white goo on your thighs. They like it. Oh, this is, uh, this isn't long enough. That's what she said. This will stick on there pretty good, I think. Wrapped in bacon, flopped in a skillet. Bloop. And try and get them all in there relatively close together so they all cook at the same time. Probably should put the big ones in first because they take longer to cook. Did not think this through. Yeah. Yeah. Wrap it, bacon. Wrap it. Douche. Really, should have put on some more pieces of bacon.
turn my heater off because it's making a lot of noise. It's actually cold in the house today, surprisingly. The weather is nice out, but in the house it is cold. Uh, hmm. I feel like I could put some more bacon on some of those, but... Whatever. I'll save some of that for a breakfast. I've got some eggs and some biscuits that I can make that with. Just some extra dough. So, like a little pancake or something for cornbread. A whole cake. Alright, cameraman. Let's get down on this. Zoom in there. Brrr. This is the deep fry can. This is going to take a while. I have to time lapse it. Use the old foil trick. Uh -huh. Excellent. Alright. Have a look at this. I wish I had some tongs so I can flip it properly. I guess if I use two spoons, that's like tongs. Look at it. All right then. Hmm. Have to chopstick this. No, that's not gonna work. Bacon's sliding off there. Shit, all my chicken stuck together. Thumbs up with this. I kind of spread my thighs apart. <laughs> They're stuck together. I'm such a whore. Oh yeah, look at that bacon. That's the stuff. Whoa. This part of the skillet is not as hot. So this needs to cook a little longer. But that looks good. And that looks good. I'll just scoot them all around here. Get them all up near the hot part, which is over in here. I can just move the pan over, I guess. That shit looks... You know what I'm going to do? Since I've got all this extra dough over here... Why don't we just make some fried bacon? You know, it's like chicken fried. Well, not chicken fried, but what the hell is chicken fried? What does that mean? That was a deep fried bacon. Bacon strips. on this scooch ow burns bacon strips bacon strips bacon strips bacon strips bacon strips yeah, that should help the Velveeta out of my colon. All this grease. I got some some batter on my my good chicken. Yep. So now this is happening. Don't forget this is a uh, Mother's Day coming up Sunday. Everybody, take care of your mothers. Show them you appreciate them with a nice batch of deep fried bacon kind of annoyed now because I signed up for this free college course online and now I got three or four colleges constantly harassing me every day trying to get me to I don't know what talk to some advisor about something and it's definitely not free 
Otherwise, they would just give it to me and not be harassing my ass constantly. Look at that. One side of the skillet works great. The other side doesn't really do shit. It's so cold over here. I just stick my finger in this. Nah. It's kind of dumb. Let's try this. Mm. I guess I'll just take the two pieces of chicken out and let the other two cook longer. Bacon looks pretty good. Craft Chess just told me on Skype that if the uh, everything goes well, next week he'll be making the bacon video. So I'm gonna have some mac and cheese with this. This is my that I made with my nachos. I didn't even eat any of it really. It didn't really taste too good. It was kind of bland, like more bland than even I like. You kind of don't need more cheese if you're trying to get rid of five dollars worth of cheese. Okay, guys, something bad just happened. I tried to flip this piece of chicken over, and it splattered grease all in the floor. Mm. Now, how do I clean up grease? I guess paper towels is the only way. I'm going to go ahead and take Big Daddy here out. Get a lot of grease. And maybe this piece of bacon. Yep. Take that out as well. This is nasty. I'm gonna have to soak water and everything. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. It's alright though. I'm getting some exercise before I fill up on grease. Put this little piece here out. The rest of that I will refrigerate and eat that. Tomorrow's, or maybe tonight. I'm just gonna put that on warm. Let it finish cooking. And behold, bacon wrapped chicken with mac and cheese. Boop. Very nice. Very nice. That's some deep fried bacon. Today I'll be having some apple juice with this, and uh, first I guess I'll try this deep fried bacon. This may be the best thing I've ever eaten in my life. Holy jeez. Holy cheese, let's have some cheese with this. It's a taste sensation in my mouth. I think I just juiced in my pants a little. Oh my god. I need like a bunch of this to make a sandwich out of. It's be like, shoop. It's amazing. My goodness. Everybody needs to go out and make deep fried bacon now. Hopefully this chicken was cooked all the way on the inside. Let's see, I think it's all try a bite right here with the bacon. You gotta soak up some of the grease. Look at my lips. Holy crap, my lips are shiny. What the hell? Alright, the bacon wrapped chicken tastes almost like a chicken and a pig were fighting over top of a giant pit of oil and they both fell in like at the end of Terminator 2 and you dragged them out and ate them. So all in all, I'd say this is a success. I don't know how to grab this, it's too slick. It's like, ah, ah, I need a fork, I need to fork these thighs. 
This has been Pro Cooking, 52.